All right, so this is the uh, NHL 12. Um, this is specifically the Ghost S1 edition. So there's the cooler. And I gotta tell you, Noctua seems to make some really, really impressive coolers. Anyways, so this is what comes in the box. You got a bunch of plates for mounting, some hardware for Intel, AMD. Uh, looks like that's maybe a noise suppression cord and then um, thermal paste. They give you one of these screwdrivers. I think I have so many of these now. And then a um, nifty badge and some instructions. So I took off the Jones bow cooler with the Noctua fan. And this is ready to go. All right, it looks like there's uh, two ways to mount this. Uh, one is where the heat pipes kind of go over to the side or the heat pipes um, are more uh, north and south. They have two types of brackets. This is made so that way the heat pipes go sideways. The other brackets make it so that way uh, the cooler can go and then the heat pipes can kind of run, run up the side here, or at least on the on the top. Sorry. Um, you can also see here that they have markings saying that this is east, this one is west, and then CPU. Uh, it points towards the towards the CPU. And then there's screws and these little plastic spacers on each one of these to kind of uh, lift them off of the. Uh, motherboard and then you use the existing uh, back plate that that came with the motherboard okay so this is the uh, cooler put in place um, kind of had to use the long screwdriver and find the screw here and here uh, past the fan um, what's nice is that you get quite a bit of clearance up here, so that way you can do your cable management. Other than that, the difference between this one and the Jones bow, the Jones bow is actually blowing air down. This one is blowing air uh, outwards from the CPU. Okay, so the other interesting thing about this cooler is that it is made to fit right up against the uh, the side plate. Um, there is very little or no gap at all. Uh, so I'm guessing the idea is that it's supposed to try to radiate the heat coming out. So we'll we'll take a look and see how this, this performs. So here are the results for the uh, 3900 XT, the Jones Bow, um, just to kind of recap, it, the, the fire strike was at 72 degrees, roughly 73. CPU profile benchmark was at 83 degrees Celsius. Uh, the Noctua fan on the Jones Bow cooler, the fire strike score, or sorry, the fire strike uh, temperature was 75.25 Celsius. And then the CPU profile benchmark was 85.16 Celsius. Um, again, the fan here on the Jones bow, it was like dead quiet. So that is probably one of the biggest perks for this, this type of a setup. Now, interestingly, the Noctua NHL 12 Ghost S1 edition, the Fire Strike Extreme Benchmark um, was at 72.5 degrees Celsius, which is lower than what the Jones bow um, benchmark was. But the CPU profile benchmark, it actually was warmer than um than than the jones bow and and this like two degrees it, it doesn't really seem like it's a fluke uh there's something with maybe the the tuning of the noctua fans and maybe they run a little bit slower rpm um this is why they they have this kind of really quiet sound i believe that if you tune these and made them go a little bit faster you could probably end up matching or even beating this uh jones bow but just stock right out of the box. This is kind of what, what it looks like. 
Um, what I like about the Noctua uh, NHL 12 is that it's quiet and, and it has its custom fit. Uh, what's bad is that it, it runs warmer on the CPU test. Uh, it still beats, though, uh, the Firestrike Extreme benchmark uh, for, for all, all three of these. Um, there seems to be something maybe also with like the seven blades versus the nine blades. Um, and then for this ghost edition, the fan is actually thicker, so it can kind of push more, uh, air through. The only thing is that I think that in the case you get some stale air and, or warm air. So it's kind of pushing through warm air. Um, so I'm not really sure if this is going to be as good, but it seems like it, it seems to run very well still. Regardless, um, right now my preference is to run with the Noctua NHL 12 Ghost S1 edition. Uh, I think this is the cooler that I really want to kind of keep moving forward with. Um, I think I'm going to try the 5600X with six cores instead of the 12 cores and kind of take a look and see if uh, there's any sort of huge difference here and anything that stands out, and then maybe that will make a determination. Um, I think Jonesbow stock fan, I think I'm going to avoid that, but uh, having the Noctua on the Jonesbow versus just the Noctua fan, the NHL 12, I think those would be the two configurations that I would move forward with and then test against the uh, 5600X and then the uh, 5800X 3D.